What is the CE marking? Eurotech providing CE marking video. What is the CE marking and your legal obligations? Presented by Puneet Sharma. From Eurotech certification body. For more information you can visit on www.eurotechworld.net. CE marking and your legal obligations. What is CE marking? What are EU directives? What is due diligence? How is CE marking enforced? Declaration of conformity. What is a technical file? Overview of the LV, EMC, and RTTE directives. How to identify which directives apply. Harmonized standards. Presumption of conformity. Placing products on the market. Technical documentation required to demonstrate compliance. Technical file contents. Technical file format. C. What is CE marking? CE marking equals. Confusion everywhere. Chinese export. CE marking is a declaration by the manufacturer or responsible body that the product, S, meets the requirements of the applicable European directive, S. CE marking equals. Guaranteed no hangover. Guaranteed to get drunk. Guaranteed good quality beer. Enables free movement of goods around EU member states. Some non-EU countries have adopted CE marking procedures. Places responsibility with the manufacturer or importer of goods, whoever places the equipment on the market. Relates to EU directives, European law. Primarily self-certification. Not evidence of compliance in itself. CE marking conformity. The CE marking shall consist of the initial CE taking the following form. If the CE marking is reduced or enlarged the proportions given in the above graduated drawing must be respected. The various components of the CE marking must have substantially the same vertical dimension, which may not be less than 5 mm. CE marking equals quality. Consumers and retailers may associate CE marking with quality. Actually it has nothing to do with quality. What are EU directives? New approach directives, community law, set out the essential requirements, on safety for example. Written in general terms and must be met before products may be sold in the UK or anywhere else in the European community. European harmonized, and, standards provide detailed technical information enabling manufacturers to meet the essential requirements. Directives explain how manufacturers are able to demonstrate conformity with the essential requirements. Products which meet essential requirements are to display the CE marking which means they can be sold anywhere in the community slash European Economic Area, EA. New Approach CE Marking Directives You can see below list of CE marking directives. CE Marking Directives Summary of Applicable Directives The CE marking directives listed below are the ones that would most typically be applicable to your products. You can see below list. Other Applicable Directives Just because a directive does not call for CE marking does not mean the directive is not applicable. Other typically applicable directives you can see below list. What is Due Diligence? Knowing what is required. Declaring that you have met the relevant requirements. Demonstrating compliance with applicable directives. Being properly prepared. Ready to defend yourself in court. Being able to produce a technical file. Being confident in your safety case. How is CE marking enforced? Legal status of directives. Directives are agreed adopted and accepted by the governments of the member states into their own national law. The directives are transposed into UK law as statutory instruments. Gives the directives the same status as other laws in this country. You can see below list. Who enforces the law? In Great Britain by Local Trading Standards, Great Britain District Councils, Northern Ireland the Office of Communications, Ofcom, where responsibility where enforcement relates to the protection and management of the radio spectrum.
Market Surveillance The enforcement authority can Challenge any product on the market Pull samples from the market for examination Request a manufacturer, importer, or retailer to provide their technical file S. Contract third-party test laboratories to test or check products Respond to public complaints Notify other member states, e.g. RAPEX Instigate criminal proceedings resulting in potential Banning of products from sale Ordering product recalls Payment of fines Imprisonment of responsible persons Enforcement examples Both the examples shown below were notified to all member states using safeguard clauses of the relevant directives. Electric police car, toy, Biltema electric police car, battery operated. Type slash model, 26 to 941. Country of origin, China slash Hong Kong. Risk of injury. When released on a tilted surface, 10 degrees tilt, 5-0 and applied to the brake pedal, the toy should not move more than 5 centimeters, however, when tested the toy did not stop at all. The toy does not comply with the toy's directive and the European standards. Voluntary withdrawal of the product from the market and consumers by importer. ACDC electrical adapter selling. Type slash model, CBRA310. Country of origin, China. Risk of electric shock. Risk of electric shock because of insufficient insulation in transformer T1 between the primary and the secondary circuit. This product does not comply with the LVD directive and the European standards. Recall from consumers ordered by authority. Declaration of conformity. What is a declaration of conformity? A formal statement that products comply with. Applicable directives. Applicable standards. Signed by responsible person within the organization, e.g. company director. It is not evidence of compliance in itself. Minimum legal requirement. What is the relevance of a declaration of conformity? Legal claim that products comply with all applicable directives. Manufacturer, or responsible body, attests conformity with all relevant directives and takes sole legal responsibility. Signatory accepts liability for compliance with the directives. Signatory may be subject to prosecution or even imprisonment. In some instances directives may require a notified body to issue a certificate of conformity in order to verify product compliance, e.g. high-risk medical devices, high-risk machinery. The declaration of conformity must include Name and address of manufacturer, or their authorized representative. Description of the electrical equipment including type, model, and any other information that clearly relates the equipment to the declaration. A reference to harmonized standards applied and when harmonized standards have not been applied, references to international or national standard, S, with which conformity is declared. If standards have not been applied, Reference should be made to other specifications adopted or to the safety objectives that have been applied and satisfied. Identification of the signatory empowered to enter into commitments on behalf of the manufacturer, or their authorized representative. The last two digits of the year in which CE marking was affixed. Example Declaration of Conformity Technical Files Technical files are your documented evidence to show that products properly comply with the requirements of the directives which apply to it. Technical documentation must be such as to enable enforcement authorities to assess the conformity of the electrical equipment to the requirements of the regulations. It must cover the design, manufacture and operation of electrical equipment. It can be the same document as your design file for the equipment. Most importantly, it forms the basis of your safety case. Low voltage, EMC, RTTE directives. Identification of applicable directives. Review the scope of the directives. Seek the assistance of notified bodies, if applicable. Refer to official guidance online. European Union. 
Europa the official website of the European Union, http colon slash slash europa.eu the official source of information relating to all European directives. UK BIS Department for Business Innovation and Skills website http colon slash slash www.bis.gov.uk slash policy slash business hyphen sectors slash environmental hyphen and hyphen technical hyphen regulations slash technical hyphen regulations provides a range of online and downloadable guidance to the directives written in plain English. Harmonized Standards What are Harmonized Standards? A harmonized standard is a standard that supports one or more directives, has been produced by Sen or Senelec, has been published in the official journal of the EC, OJ, has been published by at least one national standards body, provides a presumption of conformity with the EHSRs. These standards, produced under a mandate from member states through the Commission, provide the technical measures to meet the EHSRs. In other words the directives state the legal objectives, EHSRs, to be met, asterisk 1. And harmonized standards. Identify the technical means, requirements, to meet these legal objectives. Harmonized standards are one way of meeting the EHSRs and are never intended to be mandatory, however compliance with them does give a presumption of conformity. Asterisk 1 The EHSRs of the Machinery Directive do contain technical requirements. Presumption of Conformity Products are presumed to conform to the objectives of the directives where the equipment has been manufactured and tested in accordance with a harmonized standard. Alternatively, the manufacturer may construct the product in conformity with the essential requirements of the directives, without applying harmonized, international or national standards. In such a case the product will not benefit from presumption of conformity. The manufacturer must include in the technical documentation a description of the solutions adopted to satisfy the requirements of the directives. Placing products on the market. Before a product is placed on the market, manufacturer must compile technical documentation which makes it possible to assess product compliance with relevant directives. Manufacturer or authorized representative must draw up the doc. Manufacturer or authorized representative must affix the CE marking. CE marking or not. If one or more CE marking directives apply then you must apply CE marking. Low voltage directive applies to all electrical equipment having input or output voltages between 50-1000 VAC and between 75-1500 VDC. EMC Directive, applies to all electrical and electronic apparatus which are liable to cause electromagnetic disturbance or the performance of which is liable to be affected by such disturbance. RTTE Directive, applies to all radio and telecommunication terminal equipment, with certain exclusions, as defined in the directive. Machinery directive, applies to an assembly of linked parts or components at least one of which moves, with appropriate actuators, control, and power circuits joined together for a specific application. In particular for processing, treatment, moving or packaging of material. Technical file contents. A general description of the electrical equipment. This requirement can normally be met by the description, including model number etc., found in the equipment manual. Conceptual design. This can be met by a general assembly drawing and slash or photographs plus a block diagram. The drawings should relate to a particular model number and year of manufacture. Circuit diagrams are also required. Descriptions and explanations necessary for the understanding of the drawings and schemes referred to previously and the operation of the electrical equipment. To some extent the equipment manual may meet this requirement but it may be necessary to include a schematic operation description. A list of standards applied in full, or in part, and descriptions of the solutions adopted to satisfy the safety requirements of the regulation directive where standards have not been applied.
If no standards have been applied references should be made as to how the safety requirements have been satisfied. List of components. Complete listing of all components, materials, and parts used in the product, i.e. complete bill of materials. Safety approval information on critical components and materials. Results of design calculations made, examinations carried out, etc. In many cases test reports will meet this requirement if they can demonstrate that the design calculations have been made correctly. Test reports. This could include test reports drawn up by the manufacturer, a notified body or any other person the manufacturer considers to be competent. These reports will demonstrate how the product complies with the relevant directives. Typically this will be by the application of harmonized standards. A copy of the EC Declaration of Conformity. Technical file format. Must be controlled. Must contain all the required information. Can be a traditional paper file. Information may be stored electronically. Hyperlinks can be used to link documents. Needs to be backed up. Must be easy to produce all documentation at short notice. Must be easy to maintain and must be kept up to date. You can't just do it then forget about it. Thanks for watching this video if you are interested to get CE marking certification you can contact US. Name, Pani Sharma. Job title, CE Certification Services Manager. Employer, Eurotech Assessment and Certification Services LLC. Experience, 7 years experience in product certification. Telephone, 0819-698-0555. Email, ce.marking.certification at gmail.com. Website, www.eurotechworld.net.